Okay, uh, we're doing problem set three, and we're going to do question number three now. So we want to answer the following inference questions. Uh, the first one, is there a significant linear relationship between revenue and flights? And uh, we're going to use a level of significance of 0 0.05, and we should include a hypothesis. So uh, to answer that, we can go back to our compute tab here. and. Um, uh, we're basically going to interpret this number here, and we do have uh, we uh, the hypothesis is um, uh, H zero is that uh, the flight's coefficient, which I guess is maybe B one H zero is that B one is uh, is equal to zero. That's the null hypothesis, and so the the uh, alternative is H one of H one is that B one B one is not equal to zero. So so and and this is B one right here, uh, and so where we wanna um uh. We want to reject, you know, we're looking to reject the null hypothesis, in which case this is true. And if this is true, then B1 is in fact um, not equal to zero. So in other words, there is a linear uh, relationship. Uh, if this, if B1 were zero, then it wouldn't matter how many flights we flew. Uh, the um, uh, the revenue would be constant or have no relationship to uh, to flights. So um, so to answer this question, uh, there is a there is a significant relationship between revenue and flights, and uh, we used a, the level of significance of 0.05. That's what we plugged in in the beginning, and so um, I am very confident uh, because the level of significance is, is, is so low. So what's next? Uh, state interp and interpret the 95% interval estimate for the population slope. Okay, so um, that is, this is the slope, the population slope, and this is the you know the um, the 95 percent confidence interval and what this says is that our equation which is uh, you recall it is y equals minus four four six five uh, plus zero point zero two five two X where X is flights this number right here is the slope uh, we that's the number we put in our equation but we are 95 percent sure that that it is between 0 0.0178 and 0 0.0325 see point two uh, point zero two five two is right in between, is right in the middle of these two numbers. So uh, we are ninety five percent sure that there's a relationship of at least point zero one seven eight, and uh, no more than point zero three two five. So that's the interpretation of of that. Okay, C. State and interpret the estimate for the population intercept. Uh, okay. Um, by the way, the uh, uh, this the the units here are um, zero point zero two five two uh, dollars per flight. Okay. The next, it's uh, it's interpreting this this intercept, and what this intercept is, it's 
when x is 0 right here when x is 0 then y is minus 4465 um, and so the units of this is revenue it's it's dollars and so um, when we don't fly any miles at all in other words x is 0 then we lose 4465 um, thousand or million millions okay so um, uh, now uh, but uh, the significance or the relevance or the validity of it is it's um, nothing more than 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 where uh, the line crosses the 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 y-axis uh, because it's got to cross it'll cross the y-axis uh, someplace but really um, the range that that we um, uh, this this uh, plugging in x equals zero is not really a valid use of this equation because uh, the this equation really uh, really should only be used uh, within the range of, uh, of data which is the, um, the lowest smallest number of flights uh, and the largest number of flights so whatever that is so that's the valid range for 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 the equation here and so um, so uh, this number uh, doesn't mean anything more than where you uh, when you're drawing the straight line where it crosses the, the y-axis. Okay, the last question D here is use the results uh, in uh, the first two, one and two above, and, ex and A, and explain how good, how good the model is for predicting revenue. Well, um, we should uh, discuss the fact that that you know it wasn't very normal, and there is this um, this autocorrelation problem here. Uh, uh, the there is the residuals are not are not independent. Um, the um, this the significance of of um, of the model is quite strong though the f this uh, this F statistic is um, or this F statistic is quite high, quite a bit higher than it needs to be. So our equivalent p value here is very very small. So we are um, we are sure in, in that respect these p values are are small. So um, you know we 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 can say that the uh, the model is good at predicting uh, revenue for, for the most part, but um, there is this this relationship, uh, this time time dependency that uh, that has that affects the, the equation. So you can elaborate that on that a little bit more. Uh, and I'm going to uh, uh, do problem four here. I might as well do problem four. Uh, so we plugged in 30, 321,000 for the number of flights, and we wanted to estimate uh, what the uh, next quarter uh, revenue number was uh, at a 95% confidence interval. And that, that um, was, is going to be on, on, on this CIE and PI chart, confidence interval estimate, uh, and uh, so this is the x value. This is our confidence level, and um, we see that for this individual response here, uh, the um, the the value itself, the predicted value, is going to be three six one zero. So three million. Uh, no, three. Well, that's a that's a very large number, um, but that's that's what the equation gives us. Um, let's see. 
That's what this equation gives us when we plug in this number. Uh, but we are, uh, in fact, 95% confident that it's going to be uh, within this number and, I'm sorry, within, within this number and this number. So uh, it's, it's 3610, uh, but the 95% confidence interval is, is this range right here, 2751 up to 4469. We're 95% sure that, that the Y value, the revenue value, is in between these two numbers. So you can elaborate on that a little bit more. And that concludes uh, problem set 7. Thanks for watching.